Hi, my friends. Hope you guys are having a good time at home and trying to find fun things to do. My name is Mrs. Herbert, and today I'm going to read Turtle and Tortoise are not friends. I love turtles, and though a lot of my friends that know me know that I always have turtle jewelry on. One of my favorite things. There is a place far, far away, and in that place, two eggs found themselves in the same pen. Hello, hello. A turtle popped out of one egg, and a tortoise popped out of the other. What fun we'll have together, said the turtle. We shall be best friends, said the tortoise. People will call us the Terrible Turtle Twins. Oh, but I'm not a turtle, said the tortoise, not quite so warmly. I'm a tortoise. A turtle is a horrid beast with rough skin and a hard shell, while I'm a handsome creature with a hard shell and rough skin. I understand, said Turtle, even though he didn't. I guess we can't be friends. It just wouldn't make sense, said the tortoise. And so the turtle and the tortoise walked to opposite sides of the pen. Just then, the zookeeper came by with a group of school children. In here, we have a turtle and a tortoise. They can live to be 100 years old. Good heavens, said the turtle. Good gracious, said the tortoise. Over the next 14 years, the turtle and the tortoise had many interesting adventures, but each refused to tell the other about them. The turtle found a worm that looked just like Winston Churchill, and he ate it. The tortoise was carried off by an eagle, crunch munch, as the turtle was eating his worm. Then another eagle carried him right back, burp, said the turtle. They went some, through some terrible winters and some wonderful New Year's Eves, but not even that could bring the turtle and the tortoise together. One day, something truly exciting happened. A big red balloon bounced over the wall and landed right in the center of the pen it's mine, yelled the turtle. Not if I get there first, said the tortoise. And the two creatures raced as fast as they could toward the ball. The turtle got there first, seven years later. <sighs> Once he had the ball, the turtle did not know what to do with it. He sniffed it, then he chewed it, and he tasted horrible. Blah! Finally, he climbed on top of the ball. I'm king of the zoo, he cried. And then the ball rolled over, and the turtle landed on his back. He waved his little arms and legs, but he couldn't turn over. Two years later, the tortoise reached the center of the pen. Well, 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 said the tortoise. It seems the ball is mine. He climbed on top, and the ball rolled, rolled over, and then both of them were stuck on their backs. The turtle and the tortoise lay helpless on their backs through the snow, wind, and rain for the next 17 years. During all that time, they spoke only six words to each other. I'm rather mad at you. Ditto. One day, the zookeeper, the son of the old zookeeper, came by with a group of school children. 
look at these two groovy chums out sunning themselves. We call one a tortoise and one a turtle. But in fact, all tortoises are turtles. Go to heaven, said the tortoise. Good gracious, said the turtle. Have they been not friends just because I thought they were different? Ooh, that's kind of silly. They were the same thing the whole time. No, old boy. I'll bet we, if we work together, we could flip ourselves over, said the tortoise. Let me think about that, said the turtle. And six years later, he reached a decision. Let's try it, said turtle. The turtle and the tortoise rock, locked hands and rocked back and forth and back and forth and quicker than you could read the entire Oxford English Dictionary A to Z 23 times they were back on their feet. Well oh, thanks said the tortoise. Don't mention it said the turtle. Did I ever tell you about my trip with an eagle? said the tortoise. No, did I tell you about this ugly worm I once ate? said the turtle. No, but you must. Why don't you come over to my side of the pen for some lettuce? said the tortoise. All right, said the turtle. quickly as I used to, said the turtle. For the first time in their long, long lives, the turtle and the tortoise walked off together and they became best friends. Ooh. Even though they were a little bit different, they still were friends. I think that's a good thing to remember. So when we see our friends, when we can go back and all be together, just remember that even though we're even a little bit different, we can all still be friends. Okay. I loved having you guys listen to the story. Have a great afternoon. Bye.